Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. I'm back uh, to paradise, um, as you can see. I haven't been here for a while and I'm looking forward uh, to giving this patch of land another try. I had a lot of fun and nice finds here in the past. And if you're asking what I'm uh, doing with this little tree here, um, yeah, it decided to grow uh, in a flower pot on my balcony. And uh, yeah, it's uh, approximately two years old. And I think now is the time uh, to give it another place to live. And uh, what other place could be more suitable and more nice uh, than paradise. So I will um, yeah, plant it here and I hope it will feel fine here. And um, I hope it will have um, a great life here. <laughs> we will see. I will check uh, on it. Um, every once in a while yeah um i'll uh, plant the tree now and then i'll be back when i got my first find <music> this first signal here. Um, I think you can hear that it's faint. I um, think it's uh, quite deep. Yeah, let's see what it is. I hope <laughs> the day doesn't start with a bottle cap. But I think the signal is too deep for a bottle cap. Okay. Tricky. Oh. oh, it's a it's a button. Oh yeah, an old one, according to the shank. And uh, I don't want to rub it uh, because yeah, it might be brittle. But I think I can yeah either make up um, a crest. Um, or initials. Yeah, great. This looks older than uh, the buttons I found before. Um, yeah, most of the buttons I found here so far were um, yeah from the imperial time, but this one looks earlier. It might be 1700s. Great start. Mm -hmm. I will give it a try. <laughs> oh, I flipped it out. <laughs> cool, it's another button. Uh, yeah, there's something on it as well, some design. It's an animal. 
it's a, it's a it's a lion i would say yeah yeah i can see uh, the claw and uh, the tail yeah shank is bent no problem <laughs> the second beautiful button um great uh, i'm hoping i enter um a hot spot here <laughs> we will see um, but this is remarkable to find uh, two buttons in a row um old ones nice nice <laughs> Some more traces of imperial history. Um, it's uh, 10 Fennig from the late 18, early 1900s. Um, can't see the date at the moment, um, but you can see the eagle, the imperial eagle. Um, it's uh, a coin I don't find very often, um, as well as the five uh, Fennig. More often I find uh, the one and the two and uh, there's a 20 Fennig uh, out of silver. Of course uh, this is rare and uh, yeah I think I found three one mark also silver uh, from this time. Uh, beautiful very crisp coins. Uh, yeah I find like this always uh, <laughs> pushes your dreams you know maybe I come up with a nice silver coin from this era, um, would be great. Oh, what's that? Huh. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's it's the Eiffel Tower. Ah, uh, it's the Eiffel Tower. It lost three legs. Um, <laughs> yeah, what a strange find. Uh, what a strange find. Uh, I mean. <laughs> um, yeah why why the eiffel tower and why here <laughs> yeah i don't know um the only um yeah possibility i can come up with is this that this was like um, a key tag or something that got lost um, because why would someone take a small uh, eiffel tower here on this field i don't know it's strange what you find yeah, but uh, that's what it is. Yet another coin from the late 18, early 1900s. Uh, this time one Pfennig. Um, yeah, they always come up with a beautiful green patina, um, especially uh, on um, pasture areas um, where there is no use of um, uh, fertilizers. Uh, they are in a pretty good condition most of the times. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing um, how many details are um, still visible on this coin here.
found an amazingly beautiful buckle. Take a look at this beauty. It's complete. Um, it's uh, still got the needle and the stem and um, yeah, another part of the mechanism. Um, it's made of a copper alloy. Um, yeah, that's why it's uh, still complete. Um, the buckles uh, that have uh, iron pins um, yeah, are uh, yeah, incomplete most of the times because uh, the pin rusts away. Uh, yeah, what a beautiful uh, little thing. Uh, I think it's quite old because uh, the uh, iron pin came later. Um, the earlier ones uh, were made entirely out of copper alloys or bronze. Uh, yeah, I'm chuffed. <laughs> My next find was totally unexpected. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do a live dig on this one because uh, uh, I heard that it was shallow um, and it was shallow. And uh, yeah, it's a silver coin. It's a little Kreuzer. And uh, due to its irregular shape and um, overall, um, yeah, appearance um, I would estimate it to be um, quite um, old um, could be from the 16 1700s I don't think uh, that it's one from the 1800s because uh, they were um, very well minted um, this looks older and I'm uh, very yeah thrilled to give it a wash later uh, yeah very exciting to find out how old it is. Oh, what an amazing find close to the stream in five centimeters depth uh, at the most. Um, yeah, great find and um, I'm hoping for more of this kind. Oh, very nice. <laughs> what a day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's another buckle, uh, this time medieval. Uh, it's strange, the closer I come to the um, stream here, uh, the shallower and the older the finds get. Uh, I can't uh, explain that, um, but uh, yeah, um, I will give uh, this uh, yeah, area here, uh, closer look because uh, uh, this is um, remarkable. Um, I hope for more old finds would be great.
that's it for today guys i have to go home i had a very pleasant and nice detecting day here in paradise um, i made some unexpectedly nice finds um, especially close to the stream uh, in shallow depth uh, old and uh, yeah um, thrilling finds i can't wait to return here and uh, yeah um, even sun said hello uh, which was nice too I hope you enjoyed this video and the finds and I hope you will stay tuned on my channel. Until next time I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.